Drop a like and do share. Leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos. Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. Hi everyone, welcome to SAP UI5 training session. Today we're going to discuss on SAP UI5 characteristics and JavaScript, CSS and HTML5. Basically, when you want to develop any SAP UI5 application, just we need a prerequisite on this technologies, JavaScript, CSS and HTML5. So we're going to discuss that today. Let me take you through the characteristics. So as we know, SAP UI5 is an extensible JavaScript library, HTML5 browser based and to develop business applications, we'll be using this technology. First characteristics, it is well designed API. What is meant by APIs? So APIs are nothing but web services. HTML5 application usually don't have any database like other languages. When you take Java, .NET and any other languages, it can be directly associated with any database and get data. When it comes to HTML5 application, we don't have any database. So some APIs need to be there, which will be communicating with databases and get the values. And then we can use those data in our applications. So the, it supports SAP UI5 supports and it's easy to consume those web services. And also in SAP UI5, we have extensible UI component model. What this means is there are so many controls, predefined controls in SAP UI5. We can have our own control. We can develop own control because we already know that it is related to HTML5. So we can develop any control with that. And in this SAP UI5 is always a client side. That's the reason there, there will be high performance because it's lightweight. And in this it's, uh, application, SAP UI5 application, we can also use CSS. That is the fourth point, powerful theming support. See, whenever you take any of uh, websites like Facebook, Google or any other thing, which has a good look actually. When you see there, you will not take your eyes off that screen. So what is all about? It is the beauty of that application. How the beauty of application will come through CSS. CSS, cascading style sheets. We add color, we do some animation, we want to have some changes. Everything is possible using CSS. And next thing, it also provides Ajax capabilities. What is meant by Ajax? Uh, when you use google.com, when you do a Google search, whenever you search, you'll be getting a help like how to cook, how to learn SAP UI5. If when you type this, below the content will be changed, the search list, how it is done. It is done through Ajax call. And when you say, uh, when you have a google.com in place, we are not refreshing the entire page. We are just refreshing the content, the search area. We are just refreshing it. So the time is fast, right? So that is the reason we'll make a Ajax call. Just the content will be changed, not the browser will be refreshed. When it is refreshed, then all other controls, all other components will be loaded. So we are not doing that, just we are refreshing that particular area, search area. That's the reason Ajax calls also is possible over here. And the most important thing, SAP UI5 is based on Open Ajax, JavaScript, CSS and HTML5. So before learning or getting into SAP UI5, you need a basic knowledge on these technologies. Okay. So don't worry about it. I'll be taking you through that. What is JavaScript? What is CSS? What is HTML5? I'll tell you. No need to worry. Now, next thing. Using these technologies, they have built a jQuery library. Okay. jQuery is nothing but a library of JavaScript. As of now, think JavaScript is a parent. Using that JavaScript, 
whatever the lines of code we write in JavaScript, it has been reduced and formed a library jQuery. So many uh, interview questions they'll be asking like JavaScript run faster or jQuery. It's always JavaScript because JavaScript is a parent. Using that JavaScript only jQuery library has been built. When you run any jQuery statement, inside it JavaScript statement will be built. Okay, so we'll now discuss HTML5. HTML5 is hypertext markup language. The five indicates version. There are so many versions of HTML, four, etc. So we'll take HTML5 because it's the latest one and it's a client side. Best advantage of this HTML5 is it runs on any browser and any device. That is the reason the SAP have taken HTML5 into the picture and they have built this framework. So how I'll tell you how HTML5 script looks. Usually what you have to do is you have to always right click. There is no editor for HTML. You have to write it in your test editor. Okay, this is how you create text document and you can name it first example dot HTML. Okay, it's the extension is always HTML. Okay, you can click say yes, yes. Are you sure you want to change it? Say yes. Yeah, here yeah, it is built. Okay, so if you want to edit it, right click edit with Notepad++. If you want, you can in, uh, install this Notepad++. It is very good. It's better than Notepad, what I feel. So do it. So here you'll come. Yeah. Yeah. I've closed the empty file. So I'll show you how the HTML file looks. Okay. I have already done. Okay. This is how I have given. See, document type is the version. It indicates the version. And always HTML5 has tags inside it. Like if you have seen any XML document before, XML also have tags. So HTML also have tags. It is defined tags. HTML has defined tags. XML doesn't have any defined tags. Okay. What is example of this? See, HTML always starts with HTML tag and it always says head, body, that's it, head and body. Header part, you can relate to any of the technologies. It is nothing but a header part. Header part have all the header information like meta. Meta means the character set which need to be used in this HTML5 application. So generally we use UTF-8, so we can use that. And the title, the title indicates, the title indicates the title of it, application. And next it is body. So whatever we write in the body, it will be executed, shown. Okay, so we'll use this and we'll paste here and we save and we try to run it HTML5 first example right we have done so we'll right click it yeah see here it's it okay so content of the document here it is so if you want to change it you can change whatever you want I'll try to change the name here here yeah, somewhere I'll write I'll use a P P means paragraph, P means paragraph and whenever you open this you have to close it as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, today is the first session on HTML5. Yeah, I'm closing this. Yeah, and there is another tag also. There are so many header information you can add. 
like h1 you have h1 see there is a list so always good to use notepad plus plus if you want you can install it you can get it in google okay so uh, header information h1 yeah okay i'm saving this so i have done it in first example dot html and we'll see we'll try to refresh this see header information today is the first session on html5 and header h1 so this is how html5 application look like as we are discussing on sap ui5 so as my recommendation is you just have to know what is html5 and mainly javascript you need to know because the business logic whatever you write it will be on javascript basically i want to introduce why javascript whenever you take any website suppose if you take facebook.com in facebook.com we have username and password right so when we type any username and password there need to be some validations whether we used correct username or wrong username because Facebook always have username with email address so they can have email address validations there right so the validations have been done in client side so client side in the sense the user side yeah every time it doesn't have to hit server and get the response whether the email is correct or not username is correct or not every time it can't go to server so we have to do it on client side because client side is always fast server we don't know where it sits how much time it, it it is going to take to get the response we never know so client sites is always fast because your machine will do that the program will do that okay so that is why we use so i hope you have a clear idea now what is html5 or javascript little bit right so what we're going to do is i'll show you the differences now how when you write a code in html how we interact with javascript so i'm going to introduce you to the javascript now so as i already explained so what is javascript javascript is nothing but a functions which we write to make the html static html page to dynamic html page that's i have given facebook as example so if you want if you want to check anything if you want to do anything with the username suppose there is a username abc at gmail.com based on that email address you want to show something see you have uh, exceeded the limit something you want to show so you can all do the function logic will be written in javascript so introduction to javascript what it is we have seen how does it work we will see in this presentation yeah and what is java mainly uh, whenever we talk about javascript so many have misinterpreted that it is related to java but is no way related to java why i'll let you know i'll take you i'll tell you in detail and learning javascript basic uh, statements you will be seeing throughout this session and few html forms also i'll be discussing okay and what is javascript see when i already given you the example of facebook browser have a limited functionality like text images tables and frames right so what javascript does is it will be interacting with those text or we have taken a text now email address is nothing but a text so we'll have some interactive this is a you know, dynamic communication we'll have so if you want to act if you want to have a user action suppose when you log out there will be a user action right yes or no that can be also be done that is a pop up it always maintained in javascript and it's a type of programming language where you can easily learn this is developed by netscape okay now the standard existing in international.org okay so 
don't worry if you don't know JavaScript. It's easy to learn. Just, uh, just practice whatever I'll be telling you now, and we can straight away learn SAP UI5 easily. Okay, this is how uh, when I say interactive, they have, let us take an example of a JavaScript calculator. So whenever you calculate, right, 85 plus 3. So whenever you say equal to, right, when you say equal to button, then you need a result, right? So this all calculation can be done in JavaScript. Okay, so let us consider uh, 85 plus 3 has a text box, right? So this is a text box. In this text box, we have given a value 85 plus 3. So we'll take this value and we do some manipulation in JavaScript and at the end, we'll send the result and place it in this text box. This is a normal application, JavaScript application. Now I'll take you through how does it work. It's embedded with HTML page. Obviously you need a UI right to see then whenever you make any client side validations or anything then we can interact with javascript and it's always simple programming statements i'll tell you like when you see javascript statements you'll only understand it's very easy it's like a common language which we use so so it will be like that only so i i assume like um, some point of in your career you might have done C, C++ or any programming language or you might have seen some coding before maybe like in ABAP or anywhere so it will be easy like it will be simple statements and it's always interpreted not compiled it doesn't have any compilation it just runs in any browser okay so no special tools is required for this just you need a web browser it might be Firefox, it might be Google Chrome, it might be Internet Explorer, anything, anything, any browser. That's fine. Okay. So this is the important part. So many get confused. What is Java and what is JavaScript? You should know. They're totally different. They're totally different. Java is nothing a programming language. It might be much harder. It is. It has a compiler, right? and it is independent of web and there is eclipse tool we'll be using and there are it's completely a programming language which has oops concepts which have so many things involved in it but when it comes to javascript just the name they have taken java and the script is added to it so it is completely different so javascript and java you can't compare it is the both are different that's it Java programming language JavaScript is a scripted language which is used in HTML okay to interact with HTML when you say Java how it is in how it is interacted with HTML no unless you have some plugins you do some manipulations then you can interact with HTML other than that there is no link with HTML Java is an independent programming language you can develop applications using independent services and etc so when it comes to html you, you have to use javascript to make the website dynamic and next learning javascript i'll take you through a few examples okay and uh, we'll see one by one how basic javascript statements are written Okay, so basically to learn JavaScript, we need a text editor, as I explained to you. When you want any HTML page need to be created. So uh, you have seen how I have created. Right click and uh, open, create a new text editor. So text file, basically. In that text file, you'll write it. And then you'll name it as .html because if you write .html only, it will execute as a web page. So, as we know, website is collection of web pages. So each web page we uh, create, and then we at the end of the day we'll form it as a website. Okay. 
so let us take a basic example this is how the javascript statement looks when html application is always started with html and header part always have a header information so let me tell you the header information my page and then a title so whenever you, you type facebook.com you if you see on the top of your uh, browser the facebook name will be there that is nothing but a title of that so whenever you in google if you open a new tab right so the new tab text will be appeared on the top of that right so that is nothing but title so in the body you write scripts so in the body itself you'll write java script okay then you can have you can write this script above the body also inside the head also not a problem okay here he has written inside the body because he's writing something he want it to be shown so like if you compare with uh, C C always have printf C++ has println what does that mean it is a printed statement in JavaScript we have a print statement document dot write so if you want to write document dot write if you want to use this so you have to tell that right you are you are using some script so that's the reason we include a tag here script language equal to JavaScript this is how you write so HTML always have tags okay and you have to close this tag once it's open it has to close okay and this indicates this symbol indicates a line continuation that's it and you can write it in one line if you want to write it in the second line then you can use this anything is fine okay let us take this example and check okay yeah so in this already there so we have already there so in this body he has written some script right so script he has written so we'll write that script yeah okay this is the script he has used so we'll write this script yeah okay we'll write the script we have saved this so what I have done is I have included a script language nothing I have changed I have just changed the body part right this is my first JavaScript page I have written document dot write and I'm going to save this and I'm going to refresh because it's already there so I'm going to refresh this yeah this is my first JavaScript page this is my first JavaScript page so text is shown and if you want to see what we have written you just right click is and we page source so you will get the information of it okay so this is what the basically first example of JavaScript this is how it is written